Well, good morning, guys. How are we? My name's Mark from Treasure Hunt in Scotland. Welcome along to this video. Today we are on a hunt for an embankment tip. It starts in a lovely little tunnel. Hey! So yeah, we're on the hunt for an embankment tip. And I'm starting to see signs that we're getting close because it's coming from downstream. So it's upstream. So we're going to walk the stream. Look at that, eh? It's been in the water for a bit. Eh, uh, probably a truffle jar. I don't think I'm going to take it with me, but they're quite common truffle jars, so they are. So, yeah, again, oh, the, the dump is, oh, that's a late one, AG Bar. AG Bar & Co. That's one of the late juices for bars. It's about 30s, 40s. This was a tip I was given by somebody. There was a tip close to here. And, yeah, look at that, part of our old 1940s hot water bottle, that's what that is. So we're following a tip, old beer bottle smashed there, 40s as well. So we're following a tip, and I'm seeing signs of it, but right now I'm just not seeing the tip. Right guys, can anybody tell me what kind of pottery this is? I ain't seen pottery, pottery like that before, I think that's meant to be a butterfly. Beautiful, isn't it? Just in time for spring as well. Beautiful butterfly, I've found a couple of bits of, of berries. I've seen, I spotted a bit of sea glass here, a black glass, and another berry stopper, two berry stopper. I did spot a bit of black glass in here. There's a bit of brown glass, see that? Nice hazed brown glass. Looking for some sea glass. Very rare do you get it. Yeah, teeny little bit there green. There's a big bit of black glass that I've seen. Yeah, I do have seen a big bit in there. Beautiful big haze bit of black glass. Either green or black glass. Never we look for some sea glass. Definitely remnants of pottery here as well. We must be getting close to this tip like. It's places like this that nobody comes and explores. Well, you tend to come across stuff out in the wilderness. This is where I find a lot of my tips, doing river hunts and walks like this. And you come across things that you never thought you would ever come across. <coughs> Look at that, it's old, eh? Well worn down, that. <laughs> Right, not a lot of sea glass, not a lot of pottery. Up the river we go. Right guys, I just found this little tin, look at that. Pats, facial cleansing pads. The Travel Clean Products and Co. 500 St George's Road, Glasgow. I bet you that was some time ago, eh? That's from the kind of 40s, 50s era. Bet you there, well gone, Pats. Now walking up the river bank, <coughs> big, big piece of pottery, check that out. Chinese houses on it, it's a lovely landscape. Look at that, trees, houses, huts. That is just a stunning big piece of pottery. You could imagine that back in the day being somebody's pride and joy, possibly a bowl of some sort. That is an absolute belter. Here we see the guys fishing, look. That's an amazing piece of pottery there. And of course, let's get, look at that. A wee bit later history there, that's Orangina. I think they're Orangina bottles. Could be wrong, but they're early anyway if they are. Could be an early Orangina bottle. Or volcanic rock, there was a volcanic rock about here. There is ley lines that run close to here as well. And there was medieval people here castle goes back to the 15th century uh, but yeah that could be a bit of volcanic rock or pumice as they call it I'm not sure have to have a, a look into it it looks like volcanic rock I'm going to take it with me anyway but this is this is things that people don't do when they go mud larking either they don't take the time to aim. even whether it's a field or whether it's metal detecting or whether you're walking a river bank always look at your pottery because if you're finding a piece of 16th or 17th century pottery you know that there's been 
you know, action about this riverbank since the 16th or 17th century. See, if you're not looking at your pottery, you're going to miss things. It's very easy to miss things. It's very easy just to miss a bit of pottery, a stone, a, a stone axe, anything at all. Anything that gives this place age. That there was people here and it's been used since the, the start of time. So everything's always worth looking at in a place like this. So that's a little tip for you guys. Just pulled that out of the water. It's a 1940s poison bottle. Check that out. 40s poison. I think most of these contained ammonia. But look at that. Isn't that not a little beautiful little bottle for the 40s? These were a positive, positive, positively sure these were ammonia. A lot of stuff was recycled in the 40s because there was a shortage in everything. Glass, explosives, uh, everything. You name it, rags, everything was... Ex they made stuff out of everything, tin, metal, anything they could make stuff out of back in the 40s, they made it. So you tend not to find a lot of tin or stuff like that in your 40s tips because a lot of it was recycled. And that's a beautiful little poisons bottle. Just found that, nice big, big, big bit of sea glass. I love coming down to bits like this, this is where you find all the sea glass. I'll maybe have a look about, scout about, see if I can get any bits of sea glass out of here. Beautiful. Well, I'm in the water now, and uh, yeah, I found two little blue birds, look at that. Yeah. I'm debating whether that's some of the original contents that are still in there. Could be a cream or something that was in that. Right guys, I'm debating whether that's some of its original content that was still in there. You can see that it looks a bit funny in there. Whether it's, a, it's part of the cream or whatever it is, it's been in it or a relitment. And here is another little bra meds bottle. Beautiful. That's a beauty in it. Check out one of these. The, the embankment tip must be close to here because these are all coming out an embankment. These are 40, so it could be a mumble duck. It's kind of mumble jumbled up tip between 30s and 40s. That's what I think I'm looking at here, but I'm not entirely 100% sure. But that was like part of a, a 30s, 40s tip. Well, just walking through the woods, I've had to cut back onto the stone to get back up to where I want to get out of this bit. And I'm going to walk along the embankment from the outside and gaze in because the water is far too cold. I'm just walking with a pair of wellies and a pair of trousers on. And trust me, I'm getting soaked. This is a Gordon's gin bottle I found, established in 1769. Yeah, it's about 1940s, but that gin bottle is about 1940s. Still a nice find. Well, I'm walking back along the river bank and I caught this contraption. Right, guys, well, I'm walking along the river bank and I caught this contraption. Can anybody tell me what it's for? I have no idea. It's in the middle of nowhere in the river bank. I know there used to be a mill about here, but I don't know if that would have been for the mill wheel or they let more water downstream. I don't know whether they were damming it or not. Unreal. If anybody could tell me what that is, I would really like to know. And I'm up an embankment on a river bank today. I'm going to show where I am first. Signs of good ease is this. A nice butter crock. Broken sadly, but living hope that there's going to be more here uh, yeah i live in hope i'm going to keep digging about see what i get and i'll get back to you guys if i get anything good got that blue vase or stoneware pot maybe for cream or something like that i don't know but it's definitely some sort of pot lovely color Pouring lit ink so it's the right age for the goodies. Milton's uh, sterilising bottle, I think it is. Should say Milton on the bottom. Yeah, Milton sterilising bottle. Possibly a nail varnish or something like that, or a sample bottle. And this big Pyrex dish that's its whole, which is lovely. We'll get it cleaned up and we'll show you that on the roundup. And I'm going to go for a round two in a little minute. It's a porcelain figure, look at that. That is a belter, isn't it? 
straight out of the tip. Oh, very rare, do you ever get them this size? Oh, I'm well chuffed to bits with that. That is an absolute peach. And that should clean up very nicely. What an absolute beauty. Woohoo! Yeah, get in. Oh, I love it, man. It's obviously a doll's head. It's an absolute beauty. Well chuffed to bits with that. Possibly an aqua ink well there. Nice. Well, they spanked my hole, so it's only fair I return the favour. <clears throat> Sorry, boys. But uh, on that note, thanks for the big doll's head. Beautiful. Worth a few quid. Thumbs up, guys. Oh, poisons. Ha ha. Oh, it's not. It's a bottle by Jay's, but... Yeah, it would have been poison. Bottle by Jay's, Jay's Fluid. Rib bottle. Ribs were on them because people used to float about the dark with candles and the ribs would let them know that it was a poisonous bottle not to drink it because many a person drunk them and died. But yeah, Jay's Fluid. Of course, you'll hear me say this many a time. There was many a time where you could have got drunk off of Jay's Fluid. <laughs> well known fact. <laughs> There you go, beautiful little Jay's Fluid bottle. Right, here we go. Right, I've had a couple of bottles out this morning. Nothing spectacular. Enos. Probably would have been an Enos fruit, but it's late, so it's not even marked. I don't know what this is. This looks like a, a red glass astray, I think it is, or some sort of display piece, but it's in one piece, which is nice. Doesn't seem to be any chips out of it, so I'm pretty pleased with that. It's a beautiful little astray. Yeah, ah oh yeah, it's broken on the bottom. Gutted, it's part of a display piece for something. You can see that. It's all broken. Ah, gutted. Before it was an ashtray, but it's lovely. It could be used for something, that. And then I got this lovely little mini ammonia bottle. Check that out. I don't see too many of them. Probably not too rare. It's just probably something that I've never ever came across. But yeah, beautiful little mini ammonia bottle. Oh yeah. In this case, it's just a poisons bottle. <laughs> Nevertheless, it's a lovely green colour. Beautiful green poisons bottle. Uh, yeah, this tip could be late. I think it's a, a mumble jumble duck tip. I think that's a brill cream, I'm not sure. Something like that. Yeah, brill cream. Yeah, it's got some potential in here. Looks about... 20 so far with some of the stuff that I'm seeing so yeah it looks like we've got a nice 20s tip uh, gutted about the face not being on that eh because it would have been lovely if it had the face on it it's a full pocket watch what's the time Mr Wolf this is a snow piercer tip oh blue bird blue bird blue medicine eye drops you see the eye dropper still in it nice blue medicine eye dropper I wonder if there'll be an eye bath for that. Sometimes when you find the eye droppers, you get the lovely eye baths with them. But yeah, beautiful. Two finds. Uh, digging a hole at this new embankment tip and we'll see what we get. Well, I think this is a late tip and there doesn't seem to be a lot in it. But I'm going to persevere here because the signs are good, eh? The right stuff's here. A couple more bits out. Bovro bottle. That's a bra, Bovril bottle, that's a lovely colour, not sick at all. That's quite nice. I don't know what this little piece is here, if anybody knows what it is. It does say Garium on the bottom. With a 7S on it. If anybody knows what it is, let us know. Because <coughs> it's a new one on me. Uh, yeah, Big Finley McDermott bottle popped out lemonade I think they are Finley McDermott lemonade bottle beautiful crest on that again I don't know if I'm going to take it it's so bulky and I've got a few in my collection already so yeah beautiful little Finley McDermott bottle yeah all in all we've got a bit of a hard tip in here I think it's worth persevering with and having it giving it a really good go because potential is there could be still stuff here but we just hit the wrong spot or hit a kind of a dry patch, you, bottle digging's like that, like, you could dig one day, you can absolutely hammer a hole, you could be five, six feet long, 
and uh, the next, you get nothing out of it and then the next day you come back and you get three cream pots of ginger beer of cod bottle digging's a weird game it's wherever the bottles land so you're never guaranteed to get them first time in a new tip but yeah we will chase them and hopefully we'll find you guys some new nice bottles from this tip it shows potential the age is right but whether the bottles are going to be here or not in bulk that remains to be seen and yeah on that note guys i'm going to call it a day for this hunt good luck happy hunting and i'll catch you guys in another video soon bye for now right basically this video is a uh, yeah was a long hunt it went over like two days looking for this tip that i had a tip on you know i had a tip off on a tip went looking for it it took ages to find lots of searching lots of walking through river banks i found it but yeah these a lot of these are 1940s bottles from medicine bottles to boots cash chemist bottles to just blank medicine bottles and you can see there's there's a later age to this tip it's earlier than what i thought it was it's about 1920s 40s it's all kind of mumble jumbled up with stuff poison bottles days fluid See, these are, this is the kind of older stuff that we're seeing on it. Inkwell Stamp D. Older stuff. Big hexagonal Inkwell. Some green stoneware jars. Some fish paste jars. Now, you might have seen an advert in uh, this video. And it was for cooking fat oils. Now, the reason that is is because this bottle had cooking fat in it. And basically, the cooking fat... Uh, in this bottle would that absolutely gave you the bolt and uh, i didn't know they used to use like cooking fat oil and stuff like that to make dynamite with so there you go you learn something every day and uh, and apparently that's quite a common thing uh, with the the cooking fat oil but here's the thing right here's a little thing here right not sure what this is right first i thought maybe a vase right and then Norman says, you know, that could be an urn. First I thought a cream pot, and then I thought, no, the lip's too small on the top for a cream pot. And then I thought, maybe a vase, and then Norman says, what if it's somebody's urn, like ashes? And I'm like, no, could it be? Could it not? Don't know. Looking for you guys' help, you know, you guys to help me on this, trying to decipher what it is. Now, I've got another couple of finds to show you, so I'm going to have to clear these finds away, then I'm going to show you them. Might just be make out 1212. Lovely pocket watch there that we found on the tip, which was nice. Lovely pocket watch. And of course, this is Scoria, which is called Volcanic Rock. You can see the iron in it just here. Basically, what happens is there's bits of lava spit up into there. And as it lands, it's landed in a stream and cooled. And basically, over the millions of years they've been rolled about in the stream, it has went a nice circle colour. And that is Scoria, which is also known as Volcanic Rock. So yeah, let's move on and we'll show you what's in this big bowl now. I don't know, your granny might have used it as a fruit bowl or something like that. It's great design and it's actually whole with no chips in it. That was another thing we found. We also got this beautiful doll's head. Check that out, eh? It's a cracker. It's also got some stamping in there, which is nice. Not a chip out of it. Absolutely beautiful. Got the white eyes. <laughs> it's a bit creepy looking with the white eyes, eh? Amazing little dolls head we found. Not a lot of other stuff, clay pipes and stuff. Eh. A younger and son. Obviously that cartwheel penny wasn't in there. That's someone who's getting sent that away who's asked me for one. AG bar, clay marble. It's got potential this tip, so yeah, yeah, we'll keep at it. Yeah, and a few people have asked me, you know, I've probably heard, and maybe through one of my shorts, uh, basically you'll hear in this video that I say, say a prayer for my father-in-law. He actually passed away uh, just about two days ago, so yeah, unfortunately my mum's quite caught up about it, but we'll support her through it, and what else can I say? He didn't have COVID, which is... You know, the surprising thing, he actually just took no well quite suddenly, took pneumonia and uh, sadly passed away two days later. And it's, I, I'm really saddened by it, you know. It, it sort of made me look at life and go, yeah, you know what, life's too short, life's for living. And 
yeah, I'm going to get back out there this year and really make a go of this channel again and see what we can find. I've been a bit restricted due to COVID, you know, not being able to get anywhere, stuck within a five mile radius. Certain tips I can go to that are sparing, whereas if I started to go further afield, I could get 20 times as much. But yeah, like I said, we'll keep at it this year. The restrictions are due to be lifted again and hopefully the fence should get a whole lot better. On that note, guys, yeah, I'm going to call it a day for this video. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in another video soon. Bye for now.